all right hey guys welcome back to the channel and uh, today i was going through some of the famous design from the history and i came across this savoy vase and if you check it it's a it's a pretty impressive design and if you read through the article it says it entered into the top 10 objects that were created and it was in the year 1936 and they created this Savoy vase. Pretty incredible design and still it's famous. It still it has its, uh, you know, the people still likes it and the designers especially they love the design and that too they did it in the 1936. So today what we can do is we will simply uh, use one of its picture and then will create the model all right so as you can see i've already created the model and i will walk through how i created it all right let's close this for now and i will start with the shape and sketch tracer all right why do we use a sketch tracer is basically when you are uh, using images and uh, want to trace the sketch of your image you can pretty much use the sketch tracer now as soon as you can see I'm in the sketch tracer all we have to do is click on the create an immersive sketch and then it will ask you to upload the picture so I have already selected it I will open it now it will say that you are in the wrong view mode so all you have to do is press ok and then switch your view to to let's say top view and in the sh material view you have to change it to shading with material and then you can grab these arrows to basically adjust what you want to sketch and how much area you're gonna cover in your sketch tracer so I'll just quickly align this and make sure your cylindrical view is active and press ok ok so our sketch is now in the CAD all we have to do is we can select the painting right click go to properties and change its graphic properties transparency to let's say 144 apply I think that's fine alright how do we sketch on this so for that you can go to insert new part select your product and you'll get a part one and under that part one you'll have the option to select plane and then go for a sketching so let's say I'll start with the XY plane and select it and then change my uh, workbench to part design so then select your plane go for a sketching and you are in the sketching uh, workbench of Katia v5 all right so after that what we can do is we can simply go for a spline and create an outline of the shape of this face so i'll start from the outside this is pretty easy all you have to do is follow the curve and the design will follow you right very easy very easy very easy now if you want to close your spline right click and go for close spline and it will detect your spline ending points so after that all you can do is you can pretty much play with each points and align it perfectly so let's say i'll do a little bit of uh, perfection here i can say let's go for here let's move you down 
you can go down as well you can go up here now if you see your sketch is not defined in terms of constraint but that's not an issue because we are going for the approximate design and if you have all the values of your uh, uh, points of the spline you can put it and make it fully constrained but let's say we will not make it so much complicated so let's say I'm satisfied with this sketch I will exit it exit the sketch workbench and then there is my sketch all right now we need another sketch for the base so this is basically the top of the base we need another sketch for the base so let's go for a plane from xy and i'll go for 150 mm the reverse direction obviously okay and then i will select the plane and go for sketching now this time what i will do is i will go for again spline and let's say i will start somewhere around here you can zoom in a bit somewhere around here i'll start and then i will sketch the inner of our vase I'm doing this pretty much fast so right click and go for close spline right now here we can do some manipulation like you can make it more curve and can extend it over here you can extend this this point you can make it uh, pretty much uh, you can play with these points and you can do as much perfection as you want but right now let's say I'm happy with this one so I'll exit the sketch and we have two sketch so we will switch off the painting for now just right click and hide it right now we need a multi-section surface so for that I'll switch my workbench to wireframe and surface and then I will go for a multi-section surface select it select your first sketch select your second sketch go for preview and there you go it looks so bright so i'll go to view lighting and then uh, go to single light and switch its brightness to a bit down like that now it's visible okay so we have the structure of our vase all we have to do is few more sketches so for that what we can do is uh, we can sketch another we need another sketch so let's see how we can do that so I'll select this plane again and go for a sketch this time I'll do I'll just select this one and I'll just project it that's it and then exit the workbench all right and why I did that I'll tell you in a bit and after that I will select I will define another plane so let's go for plane definition let's go for plane definition first of all don't select the sketch that you just made and then go for plane definition offset from plane ok you can go from this plane and I will offset it in the reverse direction for only about 3mm and that's fine alright 
now after that I will select my new plane which is the plane 2 yeah and then go for sketching this time what I will do is I'll select this sketch and offset it using the offset command for about 3 mm and that's it you can exit the workbench now you can see you have a similar kind of a sketch on the new plane all we have to do is uh, join both of these sketches so for that we need another plane this time we are going to define a plane using normal to curve and we can go for let's say this one in the curve I can go for this one and for the point I can right click and go for create point so I'll just select anywhere over here and press OK to confirm and there I have my plane right now I'll select my plane 3 which is the new plane and go for a sketch once you do that you'll see this is not properly aligned so I'll go to view and that's fine so I did some mistake in the plane definition and I have to correct it so I'll just select my plane in the plane type I will go for normal to curve I'll select this as the curve and the point as that one yeah that's fine press ok now select the new plane and go for a sketch this time you'll see your uh, sketcher is much more aligned after that we can take any any of the ends so I'll take this end and then I'll create a sketch which basically joins these two endpoints so for that I'll have to select these two sketches and project it first and then select and make it a construction then I'll select a spline again from this point let's say I want to end up to here press escape make sure it's not in construction and what you can do is you can double click on your spline and for the control point one you can go for tangency for the control point three you can go for tangency okay also if I can let's see if we can give a tangency between these two yep that's possible if we can give tangency okay can we project this one let's try using the silhouette edges we cannot so I'll go for normal projection and select you cannot project it all right no problem so I think that's fine you can define uh, points from the origin to make it constrained but that's okay so I'll exit the workbench now and you can see there is a there is your sketch number six now all we have to do is go for a sweep command and the sweep will go for explicit profile type and in the subtype we'll go for two guide curves now the profile is obviously the new sketch that we did okay I think we projected the upper edges yeah so I'll just delete that we don't want it then exit that's fine now yeah go for sweep explicit and with two guide curves in the profile I'll select this why is it giving me the error let me check should not give me any error for now okay because of this so I'll go to sketch and I will delete this one also 
exit.sketch and then we'll start the sweep with two guide curves we'll select this one as the profile guide curve one as this one and guide curve two as this one for the anchor points we can select this point and this point can preview it there you go you have the sweep between the sketch that's what we wanted and the next thing is we have to fill the bottom so I'll use the fill command and select this sketch and press OK so we have created the bottom of our vase and now the only thing remaining is to give it a thickness and before giving thickness what we can do is we can join everything so whatever surface operation we have done we can simply go for our operation and join and in the join we'll select multi-section sweep and fill okay and then when you see it's all combined now in one single uh, operation everything is stitched you can say so after that uh, we can switch our workbench back to part design and then we will go to insert surface base thick surface and uh, for the object to offset I will select join we can go for a 3mm preview it or else we can reverse the direction yeah that's fine once you are happy with your thick operation you can hide your join you can pretty much hide all your sketch planes and whatsoever sweep fill there you go you have the design of your vase so the only thing that we have to do is need to apply some material so it's very easy you can go for ply material and let's go for glass let's go for it is very decent glass apply material okay looks pretty different but we'll do some manipulation over here just double click your material go for rendering in the type I will change it to colored grass and the color I will let's say introduce green color say apply and there you go you have and obviously you can play with all those different options such as fall of distance bump and all those so on so forth okay so that's it with the tutorial I hope you guys like it and this was just to uh, let you know that uh, we can use a picture or any top view or different view to create your 3d model so yeah that's it for this video if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you're watching this peace out